this session, I want to look at how we can create a cutaway view in the assembly and then utilize that in the drawing file. So here's a, a um, electronics casing uh, with components and stuff. So where we're looking at um, doing it, we, we want to have a couple of views um, so that there's, um, as you can see, there's a couple of um, circuit boards in here and um, we'd like to sh be able to show both um, with all the rest of the components around it so we'll do a section view so um, under the PMI uh, tab you'll see that we have this section by plane command so the way this works is that you will have um, a cutting plane and that will cut away based on the uh, plane that you have selected. So this works off of the principal reference planes. Um, if I want to look at a different view, um, I can hit the Y for the Y axis, Z for the Z axis, or obviously X for the X axis. And once we've developed the orientation that we want, um, we can use the arrow here to adjust the height of the thing and you can see the pale blue indicates where there is cuts on the model so that's giving me the first one if you wanted to we can do a rotational on that plane to um, get some sort of an angular aspect so once we've created the position of the first one we can create a new plane and again we can adjust this back out to a convenient point so i just want to hide off those um, fans on the outside here and you can see here that we've got basically two separate circuit boards now um, and we're interested in looking at the first one and um, if you wish you can do a flip on the plane um, to say which side is going to be removed and also there's an option here um, we can have it bounded so that it just cuts away the portions that um, are outside of that and leaves the rest of it there um, I'm going to stay with this one to start with um, if you wish you can change which um, plane section plane that we're working with by choosing the options here and um, you got the ability to delete the cutting plane so once we finish with that we can just accept it um, then you can choose whether you want to cut all parts or only the selected parts or only the unselected parts so um, I'm going to stick with the all parts at the moment and accept that and finish and that just then creates me a um, section in the Pathfinder. So as you can see we have section 1A in here. So then if we just go through and do the same um, same process we just want to make sure that where we're looking is just on that second board. If we um, hide this plane here, you can see that we've still got that one. So we need to cut away the front edge again. And we'll accept that and finish. So we now have two section views, one for the upper case, one for the lower case. And now we'll use that if we save this we can use that to create our now that we have our section views um, I'm going to go into the draft by creating a drawing of the active model and this will run the drawing view wizard as it starts and from here if I go into my model display settings you'll see that we have a sections tab here so I'm going to place the upper one which is section 1a in this upper corner
and let's just change that to shaded and then for the lower board I can just go to the same assembly and for this one I'm going to choose my section 2B and set the shading now that will come down here somewhere so it just takes a little bit longer to process just because it's um, got a little bit more detail that it's got to retrieve and if I do my update views you'll see that we have um, both the upper and the lower circuit board um, displayed um, visibly so when you're doing your building materials um, you can do it so that it's um, showing the visibility of both um, to pull the uh, balloons from so hopefully this helps um, give you an indication of how we can do a sort of cutaway view from the assembly